Today I'm sharing a what I eat in a day and what better way to start my morning off with some coffee. I personally love using the Chiaro pod from Nespresso. I do love it when I make my iced coffees. It's just like the perfect espresso for an iced coffee, which is all that I really drink. So I definitely recommend it. breakfast I will be making these Trader Joe chocolate croissants which I fell in love with during Christmas I actually made them for Christmas Eve morning and they came out so good it's very comparable to the Starbucks one so they come with a pack of four and I'm just using one but you do have to let it rise overnight just what you see me doing here and it becomes this delicious fluffy looking chocolate croissant and I just heat my up in the air fryer for about 350 degrees and it comes out completely golden crisp and delicious my iced coffee i love using the starbucks white chocolate mocha creamer it is my absolute fave when it comes to iced coffee now i don't actually like it with hot coffee it actually tastes pretty gross but for some reason with iced coffee it tastes so delicious and this coffee recipe that i do at home is very comparable to my everyday starbucks order which i love and i also love this ice maker that my sister got me for christmas because it is definitely that chick-fil-a pebble ice and I like to use like some creamer on top as like a foamy creamer. So I just picked up this Trader Joe's oat milk brown sugar creamer and it is so delicious. I will definitely be picking up another one soon. I also love topping off my coffee, whether it is an iced coffee or a hot coffee with some cinnamon. It just adds a nice little spicy flavor to it, so I definitely recommend it if you haven't tried yet. And now it is time to take out my croissant and look how golden and crispy this is. It is so soft and fluffy inside. It is just so delicious. Now moving on to lunch, I did pick up this Southwestern chopped salad from Trader Joe's and I've been loving this salad. It has like these tortilla shrimps in it, some sunflower seeds as well as some cheese in there and it comes with this really good dressing. I just wish it had more of it which you will see me adding my own dressing a little bit later but I've been loving this. If you are someone that's into like salad kits, this is a great one to pick up. They do also have a ton of different kinds there but this one just happens to be my favorite. Primal Kitchen cilantro lime dressing that I recently picked up from Food Bazaar just to add a little bit more dressing even though it probably defeats the purpose of the salad but together with the original dressing that the kit comes with this tastes magnificent. <music> So after 
for lunch, I decided to prepare my dessert for later tonight and I decided to do this TikTok video that I saw of someone making Snickers style dates. So it's basically just making Snickers but more healthy, I guess. So I'm just using like these pitted dates that I got from Trader Joe's as well as some peanut butter, some crushed up walnuts that you'll see me crushing up in a bit and as well as some chocolate that I'm actually going to be covering them with. Now, I wish I got like the melting chocolate so it's easier to dip the dates inside, but you'll be seeing that I did just end up drizzling the chocolate on. It could have been a little bit better, it turned out a little bit messy, but once again, it was all that I had at the moment. But I'll definitely be trying it the correct way if I do try this again. on top you do want to place them into your freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour I left mine in until dinner time and then I switched it to the refrigerator to soften up a bit and then you're ready to eat it for your dessert so sometimes I need an extra pick-me-up on the weekend so I'm gonna be making myself another coffee using this vanilla syrup from Tirani as well as the same Chiaro Nespresso pod that I used earlier for breakfast and then I'm also just gonna be using like the brown sugar oat milk to pour in there just to add that little frothiness to the top and it's just a great little pick-me-up for the evenings and once again I don't do this every single day only on the weekend sometimes when I rather drink coffee and opt out for a nap and waste my entire day sleeping. Also, I cannot do cafe art for the life of me, so here is me attempting a weird shaped heart in order for Valentine's Day. Looks like poop, but you know, I did my best. I've also decided to grab a little snack and it adds a weird pairing. I did choose these Trader Joe's Plantain Crisps, which are a 10 out of 10. Now moving on to dinner, I have this Trader Joe's Burrata, Prosciutto, and Arugula Flatbread Pizza, which was so good. Like when I tell you this is like one of the best pe like frozen pizzas that I've ever had, I'm not even joking. I actually decided to cut this in half so I can save the other half for another time because I don't need to eat this whole thing by myself in one sitting, even though I can, but it really turned out great. I put in my air fryer once again, and yes, Basically everything in this video is from Trader Joe's. I just love their options so much. Quick and easy, yet so delicious. And I definitely recommend it if you've never been to Trader Joe's. As someone like me that I haven't really gone throughout my entire life for all these years and just started recently going, I definitely recommend it and see what the hype is about. And I definitely recommend if you go because you get a lot of great options for an affordable price. And no, this is not sponsored. The side I'm actually gonna add these grilled artichoke halves just to add a little bit of something like a vegetable on the side with this pizza I just thought it paired really great together and I'll also be adding some garlic salt as well as some red crushed peppers for some of that extra kick my go-to Shirley Temple. I'm using some grenadine as well as some ginger ale instead of Sprite this time. I just filled a wine glass with a bunch of my ice and I may or may not have added a little bit something extra if you know what I mean but I of course did that off camera but with this paired with the pizza it was such a great dinner for Saturday night.
Before I sit down to eat dinner, I just wanted to share the dates after they are nice and chilled and frozen and they look so good and they did taste really good. So I definitely recommend trying out this recipe. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this what I eat in the day. This was just what I eat in the day on a little Saturday, staying at home. I will definitely do a bunch more of these videos coming up because of course my eating habits are different when I'm at work versus when I go out on the weekends versus when I'm away. So definitely stay tuned for those if you do enjoy these kind of videos. Also give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you wanna see more and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.